Let's take a look at how to load sprites in Arcade and also how to move the sprites and how to use the sprite list class in Arcade. So I already prepared some code here. I, for now I just have an empty window. I created a player X and a player Y member variable, also player speed. And I already showed you this technique uh, of movement in video number 5. So I created four booleans, right, left, up, down, which uh, this uh, starts at false. I have an undraw method and in the, an update I'm just creating some conditionals for if cell dot right, cell dot left, cell dot up, cell dot down and in the on key press and in on key release I'm just switching these. So if key press right then cell dot right becomes true and if key release right then cell dot right, be right becomes false. So nothing else. And now let's take a look at how to load a sprite. I already prepared here a directory and in this directory I just copied some PNG files, some sprites to actually uh, have something to play with. So first of all I am going to load this sprite which is the playership.png. Okay, so I am going to name itself that sprite1 and equal to arcade that sprite, arcade that sprite. And the first argument to this object is the location or uh, the path to the uh, sprite. So it is in the sprites folder and it's called player ship.png. So now we have the player ship loaded and we can draw this sprite in the onDraw method. So self that sprite one that draw and now if I run it our player ship he is here in the lower left corner so you can see a part of this ship and you see only the part because it draws from the center point so you see only this part this upper right part of the ship so to actually change the position here when I created this uh, sprite object I can add to it a parameter center x, let's say 100, and center y, let's say also 100. And now it will draw it in the 100, 100, so from lower left corner, 100 to this position, and 100 pixels to this position, so to the middle of the sprite, or the center of the sprite. And now let's take a look how to actually move this sprite. And I'm going to do it here, so... Here we have the set of player x. So when I move to when I move to right, I'm going to add to the player uh, player the underscore x the um, cell dot player speed player speed multiplied by the delta time. And I'm also going to do this for the left when the left key is pressed. Player x minus equals the player speed times the delta time, and for the up. I'm going to do player y plus equals player speed and for the down it will be player y minus equals player speed and to actually move the sprite we can use the set position method so self that sprite one that set underscore position and give it the player x and player y so player x and self that player y. And now let's run it. And now we can move our sprite. And I'm also, I'm also going to show you the second way to actually move this sprite. And uh, using the sprite. So if you go to the sprite class, I mean to the source code, you will see that it has some methods for actual, actually updating and moving the sprite. So here is the set position we just used, but here are some other methods. So forward, set sprite's position to speed by its angle. We have reverse, we have strafe, set sprite's position perpendicular to its angle by speed. We have turn right, turn left, and yes, I'm just going to change the code a little bit. Okay, then now use the 
sprites, classes methods to actually move the sprite. So if you go to the sprite APA or API, you will find a turn left, turn right, and also the strafe methods. So now instead, here in the unupdate method, instead of act, uh, updating this player X, I'm just going to, for now, um, comment this out and call the self that um, sprite one that uh, turn, 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 turn right and give it an angle in degrees. So I'm just going to give it two for now. And I'm also going to call the self that sprite, uh, sprite that turn left. So when the left key is pressed, and I'm also going to give it an angle of two degrees. And I'm also going to comment this out. And probably uh, I'm also going to just pass here and comment this out. And pass and comment out. So now I'm also going to comment out the self uh, sprite at set position. And now I can turn right and left my spaceship and to actually move it I'm going to call the uh, this strafe method set sprite position perpendicular to its angle by speed so let me see um, I'm just going to call it here just to show you that so if I call this function in the unupdate method so set a strafe and let's give it a speed of, I don't know, 2. You also need to call the sprite's update method. So sell the sprite that update. And now we can still turn. And now when I press the uh, upper arrow, it will just shoot out. So let's give it a smaller number, let's say 0 0.1. And it accelerates. Okay, I lost the player ship. You can also move this into the into the on key press. So if the up key is pressed, you can just call the sprite st strafe and let's give it I don't know two or eh, two. And now let's take a look. And yeah, it's a little bit better. So probably with these methods you can actually build uh, some kind of a space shooter or, or asteroid game. Asteroids game. And now uh, let's load two more sprites. One will be this smile.png and the other will be this ufohead.png file. So I'm going to duplicate this line two times. I'm going to call it sprite2 and sprite3. And uh, for these I'm going to add the smile.png and for these it will be the ufo underscore head.png. And I'm going to change for the smile, so center x, its x position will be at 200, 200 so xy. And for the ufo head it will be x300, y300. And of course we need to draw them separately, so in the onDraw method I'm going to duplicate the sprite 1 and change it to sprite 2 the draw and sprite 3 the draw. And now let's take a look. So we have now these three sprites drawn. And uh, I showed you this because uh, I'm just going to now a little bit talk about the sprite list, why it is used, useful. So as you can see, now we have three draw calls to actually draw three sprites. But when you create a sprite list, so uh, I'm going to name it sprite underscore uh, underscore list equal to arcade dot sprite sprite list. So first you need to create the sprite list object, and then you just have to just have to append to the sprite list the sprites. So append self that sprite one and do this for the sprite two and sprite three. So just call sprite list that append and the sprite name. And here now instead of drawing or calling the uh, for each individual sprite the, uh, its draw method, now we can just comment this out 
in the dust call the self dot sprite list that draw. So now we have only one draw call and we have the same result so and also if you if you want to if your sprite if every of your sprite are, is moving you don't need to call the sprite one that update sprite two that update sprite three that update I'm going to comment this out and you just need to call the self that sprite list that update and this one update call will call all the updates in the sprite list object so that's why it's useful to use sprite lists you can draw everything with only one uh, draw call and you can update every sprite sprites in your sprites list with only one update call.